Hi folks, so now we're going to be doing something a bit different and we're going to use some bits of wood. Now I'm not expecting that people would be able to necessarily do this at home uh, so this is just a bit of a bit of entertainment perhaps. So th this is some twigs from, nice straight twigs from a tree that had uh, been cut down. So I thought we might try and make some furniture, some um, model furniture using this sort of thing. And the method of fixing would be to use elastic bands. Um, so, uh, here we are. so no, no glue or screws, but just simply using uh, an elastic band where you would put it under this one, then tighten it over and and then put it back on like that. So that's a way of making a join. And it, I mean it's not it's not dead tight. If you want it to be dead tight of course put a screw through it but this is just something that you well Elastic bands are easily enough available. Um, the twigs might not, of course, be, but anyway, we're just going to work away and make a small chair. Here's some examples of chairs we made earlier. Um, so we're just you know, crazy, rusticy type of chairs, uh, you know. And uh, of course, <laughs> none of them suitable for sitting on, uh, except if you were maybe a, a very small cat or something. But anyway, just a bit of bit of fun. That one there in the middle's got a kind of mesh seating made from hessian string. This one's got um, wooden twigs really woven through more elastic bands. It's got a bit of a decorative feature at the back, yeah, like a, a forest bishop's chair or something. <laughs> um, anyway, they can come in all shapes and sizes. So we'll we'll have a go at making some, uh, or one anyway, and see, if, see what you think. So for making the chair, here's some uh, bits of wood that I've got, and there's the elastic bands, and uh, here's our one of our example chairs there. So we'll just... So we're going to use these loppers for cutting the wood. Now what I want is to make the back of the chair and I'm going to need uh, a piece like this and another piece similar sort of size. You want it to be roughly, now that's that's quite bent, that's kind of straight, so I won't probably use these, I won't use these two, but let's see what else we've got. Actually no, I'm going to forget this, I'm not going to use this one, I'm going to use these two, because these are relatively, relatively similar. So I'm going to start off by making them, this one the same size, so I'm just going to chop away, now you can use a saw but this is a simple way to do it. So that's the two back uh, pieces for the back of the chair. What I want is a, a piece along the top and a piece somewhere in the middle and a bit lower down. So here's a small piece and it depends how wide you want the chair to be. You know, you can make it... I, I For this kind of model type of thing, it's almost a bit like a sculpture. I'm going to make it smaller. So I'm going to make it about that size. So chop that. Oops. <laughs> and use a small band and we'll do this this kind of thing here. Underneath round pulling it kind of tight and then I'm going to bring it back round and hook it on there again. So that's that's not bad, not bad at all. So for the other side, the same sort of thing, just do it again. There. <laughs> I'm doing it on my 
maybe there, stretch it, hold it with my fingers, grab it from the side, pull it round, that way round, and then over to the back again. So that's the start of the back. I'm going to put a few more bits on and then come back to you. I think you get the idea of it. So I've gone ahead and put on four cross rails and that's really quite substantial. That will form the back the back of the seat. For the next part I'm going to actually uh, put on two pieces coming out from, from here and that's going to be the part that you would sit on if you were small enough. So um, if you can see here we have um, you know a nice piece to, to rest it on there uh, and we're going to see it's, it's a small bit trickier because we've got <laughs> three pieces of wood connecting at the same place. So we're going to I'll put that one through there first. Yeah, I think we've got it. And on through there. Good. So that's one of the pieces. Then there'll be a leg coming down here and a, and a cross there's a cross piece at the bottom here, there'll be a cross piece going that way and then we'll take it on from there just stage by stage but there's one piece and we'll put the other piece onto this side you do want to put a bit of tension on pulling them round but I think the trick is not to try it round too many times. It's going to see it's going to hold fine. It's not going. It's not going to come away. So there's part of it. Now, what I like to do is for these pieces there to pull them out a bit, because if you look at a, a certain old style chair, you see that the back is actually uh, usually narrower than the front. It comes out a bit wider at the front to take the person's bottom, let's say. Lots of other words we could say, but we'll say bottom in this case. Or bum. Right. So now we'll put a piece across there at the front. Um, again, I'm going to stop the camera and uh, just work away and show you it complete. But you get the idea of it. So I've got the front of the seat on now. Now I'm going to just attempt to put on this leg. I found quite a nice bent leg, which might actually quite be quite nice for the front there. So I'm going to just uh, put this on, attempt to put it on. I won't turn the camera off until this is done this time, um, because it's part of the thing just to see how it is all going together. Um, so, just trying to see the best way. I'm going to put it under there. Oops. Under there. Oops. Under there. And over here. Sometimes with the tension of the elastic bands, it can make things appear to go a bit squint. Well, that's, uh, that's not too bad. That went on quite easily. You'll find the right, the, the best way to do things. Oh, I can see this bit's going to come off. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put on another band. And that'll just hold it nice and tight. I mean, again, the elastic bands aren't very expensive. That was 150 for for 100 grams of elastic bands. No idea how many are. Well, I, I suppose I could count, but uh, there's enough for a project anyway. 
So there you go. That's that one. That's one. That's one leg on. I'm going to put the other leg on. I, I, I won't need to show you how to do that because it's self-explanatory. But I think you just kind of make it up as you go along anyway. Actually, I found another kind of bent piece of wood. wood. I think this will be ideal for the other front leg. So I'm just going to chop it there and offer it up to here to get roughly the same length. Good thing about this, of course, is when you're finished, if it's not sitting, you can always cut the bit off, cut a bit off one of the bottom legs, bottom of the legs. And eventually you'll get it to stand up. So that leg went on without too much fuss and you've got these nice kind of curvy out bits. What I'm going to do now is put on a kind of brace uh, between the legs and that should help to make it quite a bit more rigid. Put the legs on and I've got the cross braces at the bottom. I'll only now require to put the one at the front now. Uh, you could put it on the outside like that, but to me that kind of spoils the line of the legs. So I'm going to put it on the inside there, and you can see then more clearly the line of the leg. I'll, I will chop this down, these, these some of these corner bits off, um, but anyway, we'll put this one on here, and you can watch me doing it. <laughs> so... So under there, tie it, pull it round, and actually I'm just going to just put it right on like that. Simple as that. Just sort of push it a bit, and that one's on the other side. Under there. it and you can sort of push it push it around to get it looking better um, I did actually um, sh shot I had these pieces they're quite long but I felt that it was pushing the front legs out and so I I, I just shortened I just pushed it in so I'm going to just chop these bits off and uh, There goes the demonstration model. And the good thing is I'm doing this outside because the weather is so great at the moment. Next week's maybe not going to be so so good, but so I've taken advantage of the, the nice weather to be outside doing this. Right. So that's the basic frame made. I'm going to find some pieces to make a seat and a bit for the back. So I'm going to get some sh smaller twigs for that. So we'll just... I'm going to put this up here where the demonstration model was. Right. I've got a handful of sticks here. I'm just going to cut these uh, to length so that they'll fit across here. So, actually, I mean they're not cut at all, but they're quite the the ram the randomness of them I, I quite like, and same for the back, you know. I need a slightly longer one I think for the back, so that sort of thing would do for the back. So I don't have enough of these long ones for the back. Plenty, sh plenty there. Uh, and then I'll show you how to put them on. Now, for putting on the slats, I'm going to use this longer elastic band and it's going to just come along over the front here. Something, something like that.
So I've put that one along here at the front. I'll put one along at the back as well. Uh, right at the back. Now we take our piece and sort of push it through, make it make a, I've made a kind of a, you know, as if we're weaving with sticks. I don't know if you can see that. I've pushed it through like that. Twisting it and pushing it through. So then I'll take another piece and go next door to it. Twist it. Push it through. Twist it. And push it through. See that sort of thing. So, twisting it and pushing it through, and twisting and pushing it through. So, again, oh, there's a bit. Of Take that branch off. <laughs> Twisting, pushing it through. I'll try and make room for this one at the back now because, because of what I showed you before, it's narrower at the back than at the front. So we just have to try and squeeze this one in, which we can do, I think. Due to the flexibility of the elastic bands. They're very forgiving, actually. There, that's it. And of course you can just sort of spread out these front ones a bit. And I think I'm quite happy with that. I did bring the secateurs because I could also trim down these. Well, it's easier to use the secateurs than these big uh, loppers that I had before. I'm going to trim the front too. It's up to you whether you trim or not. It, it can be nice if you don't trim. Um, now, we'll do the, the back. Let's see if this one will do. Yeah, I've just, I've just put, I've just put one across here. And I'll put one across the top as well. That's all I'm doing, just putting them through. Then I can take, now I'm going to go for this big piece and put that right in the middle. And right. Now, do you know what? I think I'd prefer that to be at the back rather than the front. So I'm going to take it off there. Just take it out again, rather. And we'll just put it at the back. Let's do this big twist. It's a case of experimenting and seeing what's, what goes best where. And you can often never get it right first time. <laughs> In fact, sometimes I feel I'm never doing it the same way twice. I think that's much better being at the back. It's much more natural. And then we'll put a piece next to it. I think it's important here to show I'm going to uh, twist it, put that through, and then twist it. It's kind of like weaving with the twigs, as I was saying before. Well, that's a bit short, but anyway, no, no. 
It's not bad. And here's another nice bendy bit. We'll see where that will go. And squeeze it in here. Do you know I think that's I think that's fine. You could go on and on doing these small embellishments, but I think that will do. So there's the finished chair. Oh gosh, no, it's not finished until it stands. So we're going to just do the standing up test. And it might mean that we have to take a bit off one of the legs. So I'm just going to... It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm going to take it up to where the other ones are and do it there. Yeah, it's standing quite well. I didn't need to cut anything off to level off any of the legs. So, I hope you've enjoyed that. It'd be really great to see if anybody could actually try to do something like that at home. Maybe find some sticks on one of your uh, exercise walks. So until next time, Gurmila Mahagat. <laughs>